guys, welcome to my laundry room and I'm about to give you a tour. you're new here my name is Julie Eigenman your homekeeping guide but I do like to share some of our travel videos here so yeah welcome and thank you for being here this has been my most requested video on Instagram and TikTok since I rearranged redecorated and reorganized even changed the floor on our laundry room a couple of years back and I finally got to it I wish that I could speak to you guys while I'm holding stuff and you know explain what they're for and all that but I'm just going to do a voiceover because we don't have a lot of space here and it's just so hot in the Philippines right now. It's the afternoon sun is right there and it's just, I can't. I want to be able to explain things to you better and show stuff to you. I hope you don't mind. I am just going to do a voiceover while I walk you through our laundry room. So let's get started. You ready? Let's go. Okay, first up is the lost socks hanger. You know that feeling when a sock mysteriously disappears when you're doing laundry and then the partner is all alone? I hang that sock here until the lost pair is found. This is a great way to add some fun to the laundry room and it's also fun to see how many socks get added or taken away. I got this from Hobby Lobby a long time ago, so I'm just going to link a similar one in the description. Moving along, I have this collapsible laundry basket. I get asked about this a lot on Instagram and TikTok. Love how space saving it is when you need it, it expands to accommodate all your laundry and when you're done, simply collapse it for easy storage. And these are, of course, the true stars of the laundry room. My Whirlpool washer and dryer. I've had this for more than six years now and I haven't had any issues. So really happy we invested in these solid appliances. These can be placed side by side, but having them stacked like this saves more space. Okay, let's take a look inside the dryer. I have my wool dryer balls here. I like to put a few drops of my favorite essential oils. They help soften fabrics, also reduce drying time, which saves us energy and money. I use these instead of dryer sheets because they are safer for us and it's eco-friendly too. Moving down to the washer, this is my washer's door prop and it's really, really old, although it's still available on Amazon. There's another kind that I'll link that I have recommended to my followers. Anyway, this keeps the door slightly open without it swinging out too much. I keep my washer door ajar for better airflow so there won't be any mold or mildew buildup. Then inside my washer, I have these laundry balls, not to be confused with the wool dryer balls, okay? These laundry balls help keep clothes from getting tangled in the wash. Serves as extra abrasion too. I just leave them inside the washing machine so it's always ready for the next wash. Down here, I have my laundry mat with a handy laundry guide printed on it. So convenient, right? I think this mat is by far... The one thing I get asked about a lot, and I was able to link it before, but unfortunately, it's no longer available. I got it from Wayfair in the States, and I can't seem to find it anymore. But I'll be sure to let you know if I do find it again. Okay, moving on, we have the wall-mounted retractable clothes hanger, but I use it to hang my extra hangers. When you need it, simply pull it out. When you're done, retract it back against the wall, saving you valuable space. Down here are my large glass cookie jars repurposed as containers for powdered laundry soap and baking soda. And inside these jars, I have the stainless steel scoopers from IKEA. They come in a pack of three, I believe, and this one right here is smaller. And these labels right here I made myself using my Cricut. These stands right here actually came with these beverage dispensers, but wait, I'm going to get to that later. Okay, anyway, I used it on these glass jars to keep it elevated so I could see the labels. Then these are my other laundry essentials that I labeled with my brother labeler. I used opaque containers for my washing machine cleaning tabs and oxy bleach because they contain hydrogen peroxide so they shouldn't be stored in clear containers. And this, oh my, absolutely hands down my favorite essential oil. So fragrant, organic, and not expensive for a big bottle. Hanging from the side of the cart is my dryer lint brush, which I use to clean the vent trap of our dryer. 
Down here, I have laundry mesh bags for my bras. These are like cozy little nets for your bras during the washing process to prevent tangled straps or hooks and misshapen cups. And this other container, I have different sizes of laundry mesh bags ranging from extra small to extra extra large. These bags act as a shield against rough tumbling and potential snags for your delicate fabrics. It's like giving your delicate clothes a protective bubble. Would you believe me if I told you that this is a cutting board? It's from IKEA and it fits perfectly on this IKEA cart. Unfortunately, it's not available in IKEA Philippines. This is from IKEA in the US. And under it, I store other laundry essentials that I don't use often like my sneaker drying hangers, dual voltage travel steamer, and lint remover. At the bottom of the cart, I have my transparent pail and dipper also known as tabo over here <laughs> this is for when i hand wash it also comes with a matching clear pail with a cover so nice no so aesthetic <laughs> okay we're done with this side of our laundry room and now we are moving on to the other side up here i have this laundry room sign which i also got from hobby lobby i think it adds a pop of personality to our space this is an over-the-door hanger for our iron, ironing mat, and ironing board. It really saves precious storage space. I got it from Home Goods, but I'll link a similar one in the description. Okay, now let's venture to the other side of the laundry room. These are just basic floating shelves that I got from the hardware store. It's the perfect spot to showcase and organize various laundry essentials. These right here are apothecary jars and they are both decorative and functional. They hold extra clothespins and wool dryer balls. Now check out this stain removal guide. I just printed this out and used one of my spare IKEA picture frames. With this guide on display, I'll always have a handy resource to tackle various stains. And over here are just extra essential oils. And these are beverage dispensers that I repurposed as dispensers for liquid laundry soap and distilled vinegar. They have a nice flow and more importantly, they don't leak. No more struggling to find a place to put your detergent cups thanks to these cup holders. Also keeps laundry cups within reach and prevents messy spills. This is seen quite a lot if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. This is my laundry sorter. Every morning, I take out the laundry basket in our bathroom and then bring it here for color sorting. Near the sink are my hand soap and dish soap. Dish soap is known for its grease fighting abilities and that's why I have it here. It's an excellent choice for those stubborn stains. Okay, I have silicone drain covers in all our drains. If you live in a tropical country, <laughs> when you know, you know. This keeps the bugs away. Okay, this I washed yesterday and it's soaked in baking soda in this collapsible pail. Over on this corner is our washboard. I know it may seem old-fashioned, but this timeless tool still has its place in our laundry room. I use this on clothes that are extra soiled and dirty, giving that extra scrubbing power. And on this acrylic stand, I have my stain fighters. <laughs> this is my little stain corner. So I have hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, brushes for scrubbing. And on the bottom tray, I have some laundry bar soap I use for hand washing clothes. And then some sponges and extra scoopers. And lastly, <laughs> we're, we're almost done guys. This is my drying rack. I got this from Pottery Barn in the US, but I haven't found a similar one available locally though. Sorry guys. Anyway, I use this mostly for small laundry items. And 
that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tour of our laundry room if you did please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't yet and if you have any more questions suggestions please let me know in the comments or the links to some of the items that you saw here i linked it all in the description if it's not there it's probably not available anymore but you know just let me know maybe i I forgot to include something. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!